guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the Team EOS ROM for the Transformer Prime. Uh, this is one of the quickest, fastest, most stable ROMs, and it also comes with some really cool features. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump into the review, and before you guys ask, this is the Avengers wallpaper. It is one of 25 wallpapers that comes with the new Mobile Sensei Walls application that he did release on Roots Wiki. Uh, I will include a link in the description. But just think, I know this has nothing to do uh, with the actual ROM itself, but I know you guys are curious. Anyhow, this works with any device. Uh, it's going to work great with your tablets or smartphones uh, that have bigger screens because it was designed specifically for larger screens. Anyhow, that's that. Uh, like I said, link in the description. So we'll get started with this ROM review. This thing comes overclocked at 1600 megahertz, so I've been seeing quadrant scores of about 3800, uh, up to you know 4200, depending on when you take the quadrant score, and I've only taken a few, so really, you know, 3800 to 4200, that's pretty smooth. Uh, this ROM is, Basically, it's touting that it's a very stable build, which I have experienced uh, myself. I feel like this is even more stable than the AOKP build, but I haven't tried the latest AOKP build, uh, so I should probably hold my reservations until I've tried out Milestone 5 for the Transformer Prime. But anyways, Team EOS is a pretty solid build. Uh, battery life has been pretty superb. Um, it has been charging all day, so if I show you my battery life, um, if I go into settings, anyhow, I've just unplugged it recently, so this 100% is not accurate down there at the bottom. Uh, anyways, we'll go ahead and jump into the ROM settings. There are quite a few customization settings, so go into settings, and we'll go into EOS settings down here. If we go into interface, there's quite a few things that we can change. We can change the standard quick settings, so if you go down here, uh, and you press settings, those are your standard quick settings, those are all your toggles right there in the pull up menu. Uh, so you can change those, select the ones that you like, unselect the ones that you don't like. Uh, you can go to status bar settings and change the color of the entire status bar. So if you wanted to go with like a blue color, you can change that entire thing. Now that looks tacky to me, so I'll stick with black, but some of you will actually really like that feature. Or gray looks pretty good actually, so I guess I'll keep it at gray. That looks pretty cool. Uh, or you could just restore the stock. I'll go back and change that to gray real quick because I kind of liked it. Cool. Um, if we go back to interface, we can change our battery settings. So we can show the icon or choose not to show the battery icon. Uh, we can show text in the status bar, which is what I have, or deselect that to remove the text. And you can also show percentage there, which I choose to go with text only. You can change the battery text color. So if we wanted to go with pink, we could do that on the fly. I'll go back to blue because it just looks a lot better in my opinion. Or you can restore the stock battery. We won't do that. Clock settings. You can change the clock color uh, and also choose to have it or not have it there in the status. If you have like a clock widget, you really don't have to have it there in your status. So you are able to change that. You see that you can change the color on the fly with that as well uh, to whatever your heart desires. Uh, we'll go back to interface. And we have soft key settings. So they're not like... Um, as customizable as the ones in AOKP, you guys saw that I was adding custom applications and stuff. You won't be doing that on the Team EOS ROM. Maybe in future releases, they get that feature kinged over to this ROM. Uh, or maybe they don't even have that in their plans. I'm not really sure. Uh, but you can change to take away the recent apps and give your uh, status bar uh, more real estate there. You can change the action of any of those buttons. So if you want to change the home soft key long press action or the back soft key long action or the menu soft key long action, you can change those and you can, let's see here, go back into interface from there. I didn't even see that you could do that. That's pretty cool. Show the status bar toggle in the power menu. So if we select that, that'll give us the, uh, where is it at? I don't see it there. Anyhow, go back to interface and we can choose to select that. Quick launch actions. You can enable the rotation and there's some lock screen actions here to choose from. So you can actually add as many of these as you want. I guess it's up to eight. I'm not really sure, but we'll take those away. And you can change those to any application that you want. So like whenever you 
you can have any of those. I think it's up to eight. It may be even more than eight. I'm not sure. Uh, it looked like it was just eight there. So we'll go back to interface. I think that's everything on interface. We can go to system. If you go to performance, you can select the governor that you like. There's several there to choose from. And you can change your maximum frequency. Uh, you can really underclock it. It comes overclocked at 1600 megahertz. It's pretty stable at 1600 megahertz. I've left it alone. I haven't noticed an increase or a decrease in battery life, I should say, at 16 megahertz. So I'm just going to leave it there. And I like that setting pretty good. And that's pretty much everything there. If we go to About Tablet, uh, you see that we are running 4.0.4, .4, and this is the EOS. Uh, IMM 76D Nightly 9. So this version is still built on the IMM 76D. Um, so anyhow, that is the Team EOS ROM. I'll show you guys real quickly how to install it. And I'm on Twerp Recovery, but you can do this from um, you can do this from Clockwork Mod Recovery. No, wait, I'm sorry. I am on Clockwork Mod Recovery on this device. I'm getting my devices confused. So you're gonna want to download the Team EOS ROM from the link in the description. And you're also going to want to download the uh, G apps from the link in the description as well. And I believe the G apps link is going to send you to Goo Inside Me, Goo.inside.me, and you'll just have to choose the ice cream sandwich. Anyways, I'll show you guys here in a second. We'll go to Wipe Data. Let's get a closer view here so you can see what we're doing. Okay, Wipe Data, Factory Reset, and you'll go down to Yes. And I'm going to go back. Then, of course, you will wipe cache partition. And I'm going to go back. Sorry, the lens looks a little greasy and it's looking all smudged out. I forgot to wipe it off. Mounts and storage. No. Advanced. Wipe down at cache. Do that and then go back. Go back. Install zip from SD card. Choose it from SD card. If you downloaded it directly to your device, it should be in your download folder. And you're going to go to uh, this EOS TF201-9 or whatever build the Nightly is on. And you'll select that. Then you'll go to Yes Install. Once that's finished, you'll go back. Then you'll go to Choose it from SD card again. And Download. Then you'll be looking for the G apps. The latest here is from April 29th. Select that and then install that and go back. Once you're finished, you can reboot the system now, which is what we'll do. And I'll leave you guys with the boot animation. It's just a custom animation by Team EOS. Sorry for the glare on the screen. That's just, uh, it's oily. We took this thing to the zoo, took lots of pictures, and I forgot to, whoops, I forgot to wipe off the lens. Anyhow, guys, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest in tech news, ROMs, mods, and hacks. You can uh, visit my website, DroidModerX.com, where I've got a new device page. So whatever device you're using, chances are I have tons of tutorials and videos. So you can go to that device tab on the top menu bar, select your device, and I'll have lots of files and all kind of archived database stuff there, as well as the news feed on the main page. Be sure to click on the subscribe button and like the video and leave comments below. Guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.